Touch. Five for tight. Marama Davidson. Uh, a five-minute call. Mr Speaker, thank you for the opportunity, Mr Hello. Speaker, and in recognition of this being Samoan Language Week. Uh, so I just want to correct the previous speaker, Mr Lutuinga, uh, we are not voting to support this budget. I am very proud that we will be voting against the budget because... Here we are tonight, Mr Speaker, spouting off almost like a laundry list what has been bought and spent and sold and traded in this budget. Who has put a few million dollars there for that? Who has put a few million dollars there for that? The bigger thing that we all need to be talking about really are the value settings and how this is going to make any real impact and make any real difference to the future because of the challenges we are facing today. So this government doesn't get to slash state housing, sell off crown land to wealthy developers, and then finally start building a little bit again while celebrating. You don't get to pretend to celebrate that without being called out. Uh, it's election year. They've been in there for nine years. And finally, oh, we better start building a program for building houses on land, I might add, that has been empty and neglected for years and years, to the point where the local church community in Nainai set up an occupation. That's right, this government has pushed our religious leaders into protesting. That's what this government has done. They're fed up and they've occupied empty crown land. In this budget, you don't get to lie down and let the speculators run riot in our communities to the point where in Manurewa, over 90% of the sales of homes in Manurewa go to investors, to the point where the Clendon work and income on any given day has a long line down the road of people lining up desperate because they cannot pay the rent and feed their whanau. You don't get to do all of that and then stand up in this house and read out a budget which has no measures to curb speculation in it at all. You don't get to do that without being called out. Mr Speaker, you don't get to be at the forefront of a renting crisis where, for example, at my, one of my local schools, the principal has had to tell me that 60% of his role is transient, that 60% of his role is just moving through, visiting. You don't get to be at the forefront of that renting crisis for families and, and uh, where you're making no improvement in the availability or the affordability of houses and then celebrate an accommodation supplement an accommodation supplement that is just literally feeding billions of dollars, flowing billions of dollars from government accounts to landlords over the next few years, while the families themselves are no better off. You don't get to do that, and even the government's own officials, Minister, and if the Minister would just hear this out, even their government's own officials have confirmed that the accommodation supplement is at high risk of increasing rents. And we've already seen online We've already seen the investors getting all excited about this accommodation supplement. They've been telling each other, "Woo! look at this. We can hike the rents up. Look what the government just did for us. You don't get to champion that and be at the forefront of the impacts on things like 60% of transient roles at schools and celebrate that without being pulled out. Mr Speaker, the Greens in government will initiate a, home, a progressive home ownership rent-to-own plan. We'll build the thousands of houses that we need to make a real difference for the future, one that is not going to support a 60% transient role, uh, role in schools in my community. Mr Speaker, the Greens in government will have a strong state housing programme and not slash state houses and in the meantime use emergency funding to hide families away in motels, get them out of the parked cars and off the streets so that in election year voters don't have to be confronted by them. Mr Speaker, strong state public housing, restrict rental rises, have minimum three-year tenancy terms for families to put down roots. That's just a few of the things that a government with leadership for the future can actually do to make a real difference for the future of our New Zealanders. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Uh, kia ora. Mojo Mathers, five minutes on behalf of the Green Party. Mr Speaker, the Green Party 